Hey, what's up everybody? Dr. Brittany and Dr. Craig here for a soft tissue Saturday. So we're gonna review some of the things on today's program and then help you guys get started on your own. So I've got Craig already in the position here. He's got two of those soft, kind of a little bit softer than lacrosse ball type balls. We do sell them here at the clinic. They're yoga balls, they're amazing. Uh, we're keeping them inside the case that they come in so that they come together with two and then we're placing them right underneath the base of the skull. So it comes right underneath the boniest part of your head and then when it's there, you're gonna kind of finagle it around a little bit until you find that sweet spot. So Craig, you got it right underneath? I got it. Okay, On, for the beginning, we're gonna try and go two to three minutes. So that's how long I want you to hold this release. And what I want you to be mindful of as it's releasing, as it's softening, is that your head doesn't fall into an up posture like this, okay? So that's gonna be the tendency that if those balls are starting to roll, your head's gonna to start to fall back. If anything, you actually wanna go into a little bit more of a chin tucky kind of position as it releases, because those muscles that get tight under here, those suboccipital muscles, are actually what go into that forward head posture. So when we're releasing it, we wanna come out of that posture and soften those muscles underneath to give us more neck mobility in the opposite direction. So two to three minutes, slowly kinda of just let it melt. Right now, this table has a little bit of give to it, so if you need to put something hard underneath, then you can do that too so that the balls don't sink into the table. But if you're doing it on the floor with one of those thin yoga mats, then you should be totally fine. Feels all right there? Fantastic. Perfect. Second part of our routine today is gonna be an upper trap stretch. So after you hold that stretch, after you hold that release for two to three minutes, then we're gonna go into the upper trap stretch. So there's a couple different ways to do this. What I want you to do is find where you start to feel that stretch and then hold it there. So let's say we're stretching, you want to, okay, we're gonna stretch that left side. So Craig's bringing his head gently over to the right. He's got the left hand behind his back so that it anchors out the shoulder and it doesn't help, or it helps hold it down so that you don't lift up and shorten that upper trap, okay? If you have any issues with the shoulder, you don't have to do that. You can even hold something like a chair that's closer to you so you don't have to reach behind. And then as he's gently pulling the head, I always wanna emphasize that you're not thrusting down and yanking the head over you're letting it melt and if anything you might already feel the stretch before you add that extra hand on top if you feel the stretch you can just hold it there without the hand if you need a little bit more that's where you're going to take that opposite hand pull the head over and try and hold that for up to 30 seconds three rounds on both sides okay and when you do the other side same thing option to put this hand behind the back hold the chair anything that keeps this shoulder down away from the ear, and then that stretch is gonna come all through the side of the neck here into the shoulder. All right, so good luck with that routine for today. See you guys next week.